Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I know this doesn't look like much. I am currently on the top of a garage, a garage. I pronounced garage like that because this is a fancy place. I am staying at Universal's expensive, luxurious resort, the Lowe's Resort. And I did wear orange because I thought this was the Home Depot, but it's a Lowe's. Yes, I wore orange just to make that joke. This resort is actually called Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal Studios. So it's a place where you can get some fresh water at the falls and also shop for hardware. At the Lowe's. Oh, there's people coming. I always get kind of awkward. Hey guys. Hey. I'm going to be staying here for the next 24 hours and I'm going to review the room, the amenities, and most importantly, the food. Yes, it's true. This resort does have room service. You guys know I love some room service. It makes me feel quite dainty. Daintier than usual, actually, because I always feel kind of dainty. I think it's starting to rain and I cannot get my camera wet. So let's go into the car. Are we good? We're good. I'm gonna be eating room service here for lunch, dinner, and breakfast tomorrow morning before checkout. So we're gonna taste test a lot of food. It's gonna be a great time. Explore the whole premises. The garage is shaking. Oh, there's a big zaddy passing by. Hey. With the taxes and fees on Priceline, not sponsored, <laughs> it was $344.97. This place might be super nice. You know, I have to stay here. I have to experience it. It might be worth that price. And if you add the cost of the three room service meals, the budget for this video is probably going to pass $500. This is actually the first Universal Resort that I've ever reviewed. So I'm super hyped about it. And I am going to give it the benefit of the doubt. It might slay. It might be the best hotel in all of the universe. universe. And multiverses as well, if you believe in that. I like to think that in the vast multiverse, there is a version of me that, first of all, has hair and has a wife and is a baker at his own bakery called Timoteo's Bread. <laughs> what? Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me in my whole career. And subscribe if you're new here. I make food content, hotel food, theme park food, restaurant food. Oh, and I'm going on a cruise in a few months. Oh, look forward to that. Anyways, let's go into the building. Let's go. I gotta turn off my camera and stuff, sorry. Okay, girlies, I just parked in the inside area of the garage so that I wouldn't have to walk in the rain. And yes, I did notice that these are two different shades of orange. Do I care? No. Also, this is a Disney hat. I'm wearing Disney merch on Universal property. I was put on this earth to rebel. So this is how the garage elevator looks. A lot nicer than your typical garage elevator, to be honest. We are going to the lobby. I have to really bad. It's just number one, but I am clenching. It's like this right now. Okay, that clip right before this made me laugh. Future editing Timmy is laughing at past Timmy. Isn't that funny? To get to the lobby, I had to go through this little outdoor hallway type thing. And this is the entrance of Lowe's. Let's go in, Candy. Mm -hmm. This is the lobby. It's gorgeous. It's giving balloons. It's giving off-brand up. I was waiting for the whole lobby to just take off and take us to a different land, you know, but this is in Disney once again. Pay attention. I did come across Angelina Jolie in the wild. <laughs> trying, trying to look on the map for some reason. Angelina! Find your way, queen. You look so good, you hairy icon. I've actually never seen Kung Fu Panda, but Alejandro told me that Angelina Jolie plays that character. So good for her. Anyways, this is the other side of the lobby. It's gorgeous. The ceiling is super tall and there's a restaurant called Strong Water. What if the water was weak? What if it's not strong? And here's another angle of the lobby. I was in cinematographer mode. It is like simple, but it's a lot prettier and more bougie than I expected. I feel like I'm really gonna fit in here. <laughs> no, girl. The only place that I fit in is a Super 8, and that's the tea. There's a lot to see, guys. There's like restaurants, a universal store, but we're gonna explore all that after lunch because I'm really hungry. As we all know, food comes first before jobs, family, loved ones, at least in my life. Let's check in so I can order that room service. Ooh, oh, yeah. 
So I'm all checked in. The girly was super nice, loved her. But guys, parking for one night is $33 plus tax. She said plus tax. Listen, I am not trying to compare Disney and Universal because you know, Mickey's just a little old rat and Universal is a whole planet, but Disney does not charge for parking when you stay at one of their resorts, at least all the ones that I've been to. Oh, this is pretty by the way. Look at this. Chandeliers, okay, see ya. I'm in guest house three, and she said I'm on the second highest floor. So we love that. I like to feel above everyone else. <laughs> Let's go into the elevator. Oh, wow, it looks just like the garage one. Very nice. So I must be on the seventh floor. <gasps> we all know that's the big man upstairs number. It's a sign it's gonna be a good day. Oh, <gasps> look at this view. Oh my goodness. First of all, we have a lake. Oh, this is the lake that goes to the city walk area and the little ferry takes you all the way there. That's so nice. So we have ferry transportation. Ferry transportation is actually just when I take flight and you can just grab onto my leg and we can fly somewhere. That's what that is. And you can see all the roller coasters. We have the Hulk, we have Rip Rocket, whatever it's called. I can hear the tourists screaming and burping from the nausea. Hello. And this is how the hallways look. Very nice, I love these lights. They're very lantern, little house on the prairie. Nelly getting pushed down a hill, very that. Okay, this is my room, 3707. I have my own lantern. Now that is a true amenity. It worked. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, it smells like ocean and fabulosa. If you're Latina, you understand. Oh, the bathroom. Ooh, you guys aren't right. Okay, so this is what I just walked into. First of all, these tiles are gorgeous. Here we have a mirror with a casual dad in it. Hey, bro. Oh, okay, top model pose. Now this is what I just saw. Ooh, okay. This is very nice. I have to say, you know, there's an elephant in the room other than me. It is a little small for the price, but otherwise I think it's very nicely designed, you know, and it smells really clean. I like the design of the carpet. It's like a zebra meets a Smurf. Does Universal own Smurfs? Probably, I don't know. And here's a sneak peek at the bathroom, which honestly looks like the most glamorous part. Oh! Don't look. So first things first, we have a closet. This looks a lot nicer than the closet that I lived in for so many years. Oh, green. Okay, Reagan. I kind of like it. It's very bright and welcoming. They're like, go back and girl. We have an ironing board. We have a suitcase thingy. We have a safe. All the typical hotel amenities. Now I don't see a robe or slippers, which is a bit disappointing, but you can't win it all. We have a blow dryer. I think some extra pillows and an iron. Very typical, but very cute. Now let's talk about the bed. So we have two. Me and my wife do not like to sleep in the same bed. I'm not a big fan of the comforter just because it looks a little homemade in the sense that it looks like this would be at someone's house, not at a hotel, right? But it is nicely made, even though it has some little crinkles, like a Pringle. I'm not a fan of this pillow though. I feel like it does kind of clash. I know it's, it's supposed to be like a pop of color, but something about it just looks like someone spilled Kool-Aid on a pillow. We have two, two lights. One of them is crooked. That's okay. Ah. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like that. Okay. So they said, we don't need to conform. <laughs> then we have a phone with the little room service button right there. A clock, a little notepad if you want to say, hey girl. And then we have a gorgeous painting of a boat. This is actually Tarzan's parents' boat, but Universal couldn't put Tarzan and his parents into the picture because they don't own Tarzan. So it's just the boat. They had to edit them out. Is there any Last of Us mold in this drawer? No, just a normal drawer and a copy of Bridget Terabithia. And then we have a TV. It is LG, which actually stands for Lady Gaga. She makes the best TVs. And then we have a fridge. Now, to me, this looks like a Super 8 fridge. You know, usually at the nicer places, they have the fridge with like the see-through door. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter girly okay i can see myself all that you have to do is keep your food cold so stop complaining and then what's in here just a lot of drawers okay drawers in cabinets never seen that but it sounds efficient right and then we got a little coffee machine a gorgeous lamp i actually love this design a beautiful picture of an island and we have some water for no it's not free 750 each it better actually be from fiji but i gotta say this little setup right here does look very fancy with the glass cups and the square ice box very modern futuristic robot ice box and then this is the in-room dining 
This is gonna be my favorite book for the next 24 hours, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. And then we have a little trash can right there and a blue chair and a very pretty lamp, which is kind of giving like olives on a big skewer. And this is my view. Okay, so it's kind of like a courtyard type little golfing area. Oh, that's not for golfing. I don't know why I said that. Um, it's it's more like a dog park or something, something of that scale. But look how pretty the hotels are. That over there is the Aventura Hotel, which I want to stay at as well. I think it's a little cheaper than this place. Now it's time for the toilet. This mirror is actually gorgeous. I love like the spray painted vibe with the bright colors. We have a mirror here. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the best taste tester of them all? It's you, ma'am. Thank you. This is the sink. We have, what's this? Oh, little Q-tips and little cotton balls. Very nice. Does this work? Yes. I love modern plumbing. And then we have a shower cap, a soap, hand and body wash and cream. And then we have a basket full of towels. The basket just upgrades the towels. It just makes them look nicer for some reason, right? Gorgeous, honestly. And then this is the little shower room. And I have to say, this is a pretty spacious toilet room. Sometimes they're very cramped and this one does have a lot of room. We have a modern day toilet and toilet paper which is standing up for some reason, very cool. The bathtub does seem to be quite spacious and it's quite low, so it doesn't feel like you're caged in when you're standing in it, if that makes sense. Then we have some more little shampoo bottles and all that and the shower head, it looks very clean, very new. The shower curtain is twigs and leaves. I am pretty happy with this whole bathroom. So I gotta say, girlies, I think that the room is pretty great. Is it groundbreaking? Am I shaking on the floor? No, but... It is clean, it's nice, and it could be $100 cheaper, but it's nice. Anyways, it's time to choose our lunch. Okay, I have to say I'm loving like the physical menu. I feel like a hotel having like a real paper menu is very rare, everything is just on the phone now. And this paper menu just feels like room service is a priority for them, if that makes sense. So that's a good sign. Anyways, this is breakfast, let's turn the page. All day long, we have appetizers. Ooh, a hummus plate, very interesting. We have some soups and salads, some sandwiches and burgers. Ooh, passion fruit barbecue chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken, passion fruit barbecue sauce, jack cheese, red pepper aioli, lettuce, tomato, onion on a brioche bun. That sounds so good. And it comes with either french fries or a house salad. Definitely french fries. <laughs> and then we have some pizza, some dinner appetizers. We can check that out later. Dinner entrees and desserts. You guys know, lunch and dinner are both gonna be three course meals. So I think I'm gonna gonna get the hummus plate. I love hummus. It comes with red pepper, hummus, celery, carrots, and grilled flatbread. Ooh! And I'm gonna do the passion fruit barbecue chicken sandwich oh. with fries. And for my dessert, there's rum cake, fudge cake, cookies and milk, Blueberry cobbler, ice cream, key lime pie, and ice cream. I think I want to try the Caribbean rum cake. That sounds so good. Okay, I'm gonna order lunch and I'll see you when it gets here. So it's been almost an hour and the food isn't here yet and that's fine, I know that it takes time. And I liked my, oh, it's here. I'm so hungry. Girlies, the food is here, it smells amazing. I think this is a sandwich because you can see the bread, the brioche, hey girl. I'm gonna transfer everything to this little table, but they did give me salt and pepper and the cute little ketchup bottles, a little bottle of Hellman's, I like to say Heaven Mins, and some Dijon mustard, very nice. Water for free and some utensils and a straw. Yay! You guys do not know how hungry I am. It's past three, which is way past my lunchtime. And I actually feel kind of shaky, sweaty. I don't know what's happening. I just know I need to eat. No. I did take a quick look at this plate and it is the hummus appetizer moment. So there it is. Wow. Okay. This is the hummus plate. We have a big bowl of hummus. It is nice and cold. And then we have some little flatbreads. It looks like pita to me, but it does smell very good and kind of like toasted. And then we have some red pepper, some celery, and some carrots. Let's go in. Also, I got some free water. I know it's not Fiji water, but it's Fiji. <laughs> Come on, plastic wrap. The dolphins really don't like this. Oh, it smells very garlicky. This is Edward Cullen's worst nightmare. Let's first try it with a carrot. Mm. Celery. I feel like a giraffe being fed at the zoo. Mmm. <laughs> mm, the red pepper. Mm. I used to hate bell peppers, but now they are definitely growing on me. I gotta buy some at the store. Remind me to buy 
bell peppers and hummus tomorrow at 10 a.m. Healthy, delicious. When I'm not filming and not eating trash from the gutters of Orlando. <laughs> it's a really good snack. Wow. It's deleted. What'd you delete? Who? <laughs> What'd you delete, Siri? Sorry, I don't understand. She's plain dumb. Of course she is. Now let's try it with the flatbread. Mm. Oh! Oh, wow. What is this? Universal! Maybe I judged you too harshly. Listen up, girlies. I expected this flatbread to taste like a supermarket processed stale piece of dried up dough. And let me tell you, it tastes like it was made in a fresh charred oven. It almost tastes like a hamburger patty, like a charred hamburger patty, but in bread form. And the hummus does not taste processed either. It tastes truly freshly made with so much garlic, oil, and love as well. It's also lemony and bright. I could drink this hummus. Also, all the veggies are so crisp and so fresh tasting. I'm giving the hummus plate a 10 out of 10. And now that I've eaten something, I'm calming down. We can take our time now. We don't have to rush anymore. Sorry about that, guys. I really felt like I could have passed out. Fun fact, one time my mom passed out and someone yelled, Timber! <laughs> Is she a tree? Am I half tree and half Cuban as well? Now it's time for the entree. I see the brioche here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, okay. The portion of the fries, girlies, that's a lot of tater. Ooh, it smells amazing. Universal. I feel kind of bad. I I expected trash. <laughs> <laughs> what was this thing called again? The passion fruit barbecue chicken sandwich. I am noticing that there's a lot of like Caribbean inspired dishes on the menu. We love that. That is very different. I love that, that there's a theme happening here. You know, let's first try a fry. I'm salivating. Call me a planet and slap me with a supernova. Mm. These fries are truly incredible. They have that really crispy coating to them, almost like they've been like battered with a very light batter. It just adds to the crispiness and the flakiness. There's a slight sweetness happening here, but it's very slight, it's very subtle. The oil tastes very, very fresh, and they are so well salted. Truly, the perfect fry. I heard that the average Idahoan digs up 5,000 potatoes a day. Let me dip a fry into the hummus real quick. No. <laughs> Makes the hummus taste like a fart. What was that? I don't like it. Sandwich time. You can see the grilled chicken, the cheese, the barbecue passion fruit sauce, the red pepper aioli, lettuce, tomato, red onions. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Sorry. Oh my goodness. That chicken sandwich is earth shattering. It's a black hole that has sucked up every bit of flavor <laughs> from the earth. The chicken is simple, but it's a real thick, high quality piece of chicken. <laughs> it is charred and grilled to perfection. There's little burnt parts on the edges to add so much flavor. And it just tastes so fresh. It tastes like it was cooked in someone's backyard, but like someone that knows what they're doing with a barbecue, you know? And then the barbecue passion fruit sauce is incredible. Um, I couldn't really particularly taste the passion fruit. It just tasted like extra tangy, extra bright barbecue sauce. All the veggies tasted crisp. The red pepper aioli was so creamy and just added some richness. And let me just say the cheese layer was extremely thick and I could really taste the cheese. And the brioche bun is brioching. We always love a good brioche. It is fluffy, buttery, amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this whole meal so far. I really feel like Universal slayed it. And I love this meal. I Like I truly do. I could cry. Nah. It's time for the dessert. I just realized I forgot to get like a close-up shot of the 
meal on my phone. I'm sorry about that. I always like to show you guys all the details, but I was just too hungry, I guess. Anyways, I'm focused now. Here's the rum cake. Ooh. So it doesn't come with ice cream. Most desserts do, but this one doesn't. And that's kind of refreshing. Not everything needs ice cream, right? This is what it looks like up close. It looks very dense, sticky. There's sort of like a Last of Us mold type of aesthetic going on here, but it's probably gonna taste good. It has a very rich color and it comes with this sauce, which is probably like a rum sauce. I'm ready. I'm just gonna pour the sauce on guys. Oh, so gooey and ooey. Look at her, she's shining. Let's try it, oh. It almost has the texture of like a sticky bun or a honey bun or something. Mm. I was just in a dream state and I don't remember what just happened. Who ate that? That wasn't me. Wow. So it was a lot lighter than it looked. It looked really heavy and dense, but the truth is that was only a crust on the outside. The inside is quite fluffy and light and barely sweet. It's like a barely sweet pound cake on the inside, right? And then the outside, it's almost like a pecan pie sticky bun moment it is very crusty you can kind of feel the granulated sugar as you chew along with the pecans do you say pecan or pecan i say pecan because i can so the outside is super sweet but the inside is barely sweet so there's a very nice balance there and a great balance in texture crunchy and super soft and then this drizzle, drizzle. this goo is incredible it's like a very thin rum caramel but the rum flavor is very light it isn't super strong it's dainty and the caramely flavor is also light but when they come together they create a new strong flavor i should write a book do you hear these descriptions i can't finish it i won't let myself if i leave one or two bites behind i can still feel dainty <laughs> i'll save the crumbs i really am so pleased with my first Universal Resort meal. I expected so much less and they proved me wrong. Every single thing got a 10 out of 10, a perfect meal. And you guys know I, I am picky. My whole thing is that I critique food and I couldn't find anything to critique. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. Now it is time to explore the whole premises. I'm gonna walk around super bloated. The most embarrassing thing just happened. I was leaving the tray um, outside like the girl said to, and I didn't realize, but the door closed behind me. I was left outside shoeless, without my phone, without a key, <laughs> without anything. So I had to walk downstairs without shoes into the nice lobby and say, I forgot my key. <laughs> and the girly was so helpful, truly so kind. She felt so bad for me. I was shoeless guys and i'm back in i am not gonna make that mistake again that's for sure i was in a food haze anyways i'm gonna grab my things and we're gonna explore wait girlies i just noticed there's a button on the mirror oh it brightens it oh <gasps> more more oh wow. oh wow we have a robot mirror i can hear it it's speaking okay the actual tour is starting now so first things first Universal Studio Store, do you want to be on the big screen? Anyways, this is a very cute shirt. It has all the different areas of the parks on it. And there's a little minion towel. Is that their language? I don't know. Um, this is the inside of the store. It's giving Levi's jeans. Like that's the vibe of the store to me. I don't know why. They have some Jurassic merch, some Simpsons. I have still never seen the Simpsons and I don't plan on it. I don't know why. It doesn't interest me. And then of course we have some Harry Potter merch. The boy that lived. No my, no my nay, yay. They had some chocolate frogs, which I've actually never had. And of course they have the Hogwarts robes. And I always see tourists in these robes when I go to Universal and I'm like, how are you functioning in this heat? At the end of the day, that robe is gonna smell like a massive armpit and not a magical one either. This is not a wizard pit. This is a human bean pit. Moving on, they have this sort of like grab and go restaurant slash convenience store type of situation. They have some baked goods like cupcakes, these little mini cheesecakes that actually look amazing. And then they had some hot stuff like soups and chicken and empanada and a couple other things. Sorry, there's thunder outside and I feel like I have to burp. 
there's a lot of distractions happening. They also have an ice cream section. All the flavors looked fantastic and they had a lot of different flavors. So that's great, a lot of variety. And this is what the inside of the store looked like. Just cute, nice lighting. And here are some grab and go salads some sandwiches that may or may not be dried up. You're gonna have to buy one to find out. And they also had some hot breakfast sandwiches. Just kidding, they were all out. And it was just an empty space. It was very sad to look at. There is a vacation planning center in the lobby in case if you need help, you know, going to Universal's website and buying a ticket. And I noticed these little dainty chairs and, and tables. I just had to sit. I caused quite the impact on that seat and I'm kind of proud of that. Now this staircase was honestly serving Hogwarts. Look how stunning the stonework, whatever it's called, the concrete art. I did go downstairs because that's where the pool is and the fitness center. This is the arcade. I got just a few quick glimpses because there were a lot of people in there. And now guys, this is the gym. I was shooketh by the size of the Lowe's Sapphire Falls gym. What is this? It's huge. It's amazing. And the lighting is so like 80s vibes, right? And there's a water fountain so you don't turn into a raisin. They had lots of treadmills and lots of bikes and lots of things. Very nice. That is one of the biggest hotel gyms I have seen. And I've seen a lot. Very nice. Tons of machines, tons of options. Hello. Now, this is the pool area. The gate is temporarily out of order. Okay. How do I get in? Do I hop the fence? Well, there's no one really in there. I think that they're just like cleaning it. Okay, well, it looks nice. I kind of wanted to dip my little toes in, but I guess not. There is like a beach area, as you can see, and sand, like real authentic Floridian sand. Love that. Hold on, can I go into this one? Let me use my new key. <laughs> Ooh. No. Okay. Yeah, it must be closed. That's fine. Apparently, there's also a jogging trail somewhere. I want to see that, but let's go even further down into the caverns of the stairs. Oh, wait. Oh, there's another restaurant down here. Um, um, I was homeschooled, guys. Amatista Cookhouse. See? Amatista. Let's see what the menu's like. Is this where my room service comes from? Caribbean rum cake. Oh my gosh, it is. Wait, <laughs> it is. Okay, well, Amatista eight love her this is what the inside looks like it looks very nice i'm kind of shook at these amenities guys once again i underestimated universal i didn't think they would have the theming and the restaurants and all these gorgeous things like look at this room that i'm in what is this i'm in a cave hello carlsbad and we have some random baskets here. I don't know what goes in them, but they're here for people to use, I guess, if they need to carry some bread or some berries. Ooh, there's the water taxi. That is the boat that takes you to the park. So it's just right here. You just hop right on. Hail the taxi. Hey, I need a ride. And there it is. Okay. The water's glistening. They also have shuttle buses that can take you to the parks as well. And they have ballrooms for, you know, like Cinderella and people like that. Oh, JK. They don't own her. That's for Fiona. <laughs> Is that the only princess they own? Just Fiona? Just an ogre? Here's the bus stop. Shuttle bus. I don't know what that is. Is that another resort right there? Possibly. I do plan on staying at every Disney and Universal resort throughout my career. So one day we'll stay there. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a resort. It might be a library for all I know. I don't know. I just realized there's a golf cart behind me and I think I'm, I've been blocking them this whole time. Let me go into this little path here. Hi, girlies. Okay, good. They were able to get by. Wait, this is this is the golf course courtyard right outside my room. I guess that my room is like right up there. Am I allowed to be here? There's no one else here. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let's go down this path. Looks very pretty. Let's just see where we arrive to, you know? Life is all about adventure and sometimes, sometimes you don't have to know the destination. You just have to follow your heart and go where life takes you. And I'm gonna probably end up in a ditch because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but let's see. Is this the jogging trail? It must be. Ooh, I think this is another resort. There is a plane in the water. I hope that's a decoration. Okay, so I guess I'm just now at a different resort. This is where I live now. I think it's called Pacifica. So it's sort of like giving Disney's Polynesian resort, but Universal's version. Let's just go in quick. Am I loud? I don't know, but I'm running. Ooh, <gasps> Ooh I should have stayed here. Look at the little leaves hang. Oh wait, those aren't leaves. I think it's like a little gold chains. Okay. No one's here. 
Like no one's at the desk or anything. I'm just in a huge ballroom by myself. Where's my prince? Let me leave one of my sketchers behind so he can find me. One day I'll stay at whatever resort this is and we can explore it then. Wait, it says Lowe's here too. Is this another Lowe's? Does Lowe's suddenly have more locations than Home Depot? Maybe it's like a Lowe's variant. Girlies, look, I found a new friend. Hey, look at those dangy legs. Hey, queen. She's like, hey, <laughs> don't leave. Please, where'd she go? I see you. I'm back in the big stairwell and there's a whole wagon here. Did you know this is from 1902? It actually carried George Washington. He just sat there and someone dragged it and he said, thank you. And then we have a big bowl, I guess, for maybe guacamole or something and a desk. This is actually where Leonardo da Vinci drew that ceiling painting. He actually drew it on this table and then he stuck it on the ceiling like a big temporary tattoo. So in case you didn't know, here's a much better view of the pool. It is in the shape of a piece of ramen noodle. It's so it swirls and it curls and goes all the way there. And there is a water slide all the way back there. It looks very fun, very relaxing. Guys, this is a nice resort. Like I'm just so impressed. There is a crusty green pond, as you can see. So I think that that's all there is to see. Maybe I missed something. If I did, drag me in the comments. But I think I covered most of it. Some of the areas are like castle-y, like stones and concrete and gravel and then others are like tropical and like refreshing like a fresh citrus i really like it i'm gonna go relax in the room for a bit and then in a few hours we are gonna get dinner i'm actually not too full so that's good news okay guys i've been laying on the bed like a potato so far it's very comfy but it's time for dinner <laughs> Ow! Uh, why'd you do that? Sapphire Falls menu? Okay, so let's find an appetizer. So we could either do chicken noodle soup. No, that's too boring. Black bean and chorizo soup. Interesting. It has rice in it. Ooh. Or a pizza as an appetizer? No, I'm not that greedy. I don't know. Oh, wait, sorry. We have dinner appetizers. I almost forgot. Ancho chicken empanadas, shrimp cocktail, and Caribbean chicken wings. Ooh, guys, I love a banana. Andouille chicken sausage, queso fresco, and red pepper aioli sauce. Love that. Okay, now for dinner, mojo marinated rotisserie chicken with rice and pink beans. Platanos maduros, which are basically plante. I know that because I don't have Cuban. Ribeye, pan seared true north salmon, but why not the west salmon? And then vegan chicken masala. Uh, I think we're gonna do the mojo marinated rotisserie chicken. And then for dessert, I'm in between the blueberry cobbler, the chocolate fudge cake, and the cookies and milk. Hmm. Uh, you know, I always get chocolate cake. Let's do the blueberry cobla. Okay, dinner is served. Can you see me? Yeah, that's fine. Can I just say everyone here is so nice. Like all the employees, the service, everything has been fantastic. And also just the presentation, like the, like the little table over there. Look at these tiny little Tabasco sauces I got, guys. So cute. I think this is probably the appetizer. I'm not sure though. Let's see. Oh, no, that's the whole meal. That's the mojo chicken. Ooh, okay, wait, let's just take a look at that afterwards. Your time will come. This is the appetizer for sure. Okay. Ooh, very cute little banana. These look adorable. They are on that red pepper aioli. Look how good they look. And they came with these two sauces. She told me what they were, but I forgot. So <laughs> this one looks like some sort of a cilantro garlic sauce. And this one, I have no clue. And then also we have some bread. Ooh, wrinkly. Okay. <laughs> shriveled and we have some cute little butter balls guys let me use my straw this time that tastes so good right now let's first try a roll this is much softer than your typical dinner roll it's like a little pillow give me my bomb oh it's very firm butter put that there oh <laughs> mm. i did not expect that Wow, it didn't look like much. It did look like a raisin mutating into bread, but somehow that roll tastes like the sweetest, most buttery croissant you've ever had. It tastes like a croissant, but like a really good fresh one from And then this butter is so extremely salty. To me, the saltier the butter, the better. The better, the butter, the butter, the better. Just truly incredible. Okay. The bread is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> now let's try the empanadas. I know that I'm not supposed to eat them with a fork, but I don't feel like getting my hands greasy. So I'm just gonna 
Ooh, crispy. So that's the inside of the empanada. It seems to be possibly a potato-y, sausage-y filling. Mmm! Wait, hold on, we have sauces I almost forgot. Let me try the green sauce. Mm -hmm. That's like a cilantro, garlic, mayo-y deliciousness. And this white sauce. Smells like sour cow juice. Well, I barely got any. It's like a kind of like a sour crema. It's a little too sour for me. Watch something. These empanadas are fantastic. They're not perfect, but they're almost perfect. The outside, like the wrapping, the breading, whatever it's called is incredible. I can tell that it's made out of that corn doughy stuff and it's just crisped to perfection. And it's also thin. A lot of um, empanadas can be too thick, like the wrapping part. This is thin and crispy and satisfying to eat. The filling is good. I think it's potato based, which I do love that. The sausage has a lot of flavor. It does have sort of like a jambalaya flavor to it, but I feel like it just needs a little more seasoning in the potato portion of the empanada. I feel like that part just tasted a tiny bit plain and the sausage was trying to do all the heavy lifting, trying to take us to Flavor Town, and it almost did, but it couldn't quite get us there. All the sauces helped a lot. I love the um, red pepper aioli once again, and I love the cilantro garlic sauce. So that definitely boosted the flavor. It just needed a little more oomph, that's all. So I'm gonna give the empanadas an eight out of 10, still very strong. We have the mojo marinated rotisserie chicken with pink beans and rice and plantain maduros, which is basically plantains that have been caramelized and sweetened. Now, I love plantains, but the only kind of plantains that I don't love are these kinds, the sweetened kinds. I prefer tostone, I prefer sauteed. But this meal looks amazing. I am kind of worried that the chicken won't have enough flavor because I don't see a lot of seasonings on it, but it looks nice and golden brown, so that's good. And it's like a whole half a chicken. Now we have the pink beans with maybe potatoes in there. I'm not sure what that is. Some rice and the plantain maduros. This is a huge portion, by the way. Like, wow, looks very filling. Let's first try the chicken. I just want to dig. <laughs> Let's try the chicken. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try it with this sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, I am disappointed. Universal, you thought you were my world, but guess what? You're just a comet flying by my world. The chicken is a little bit dry on the inside. It is kind of serving supermarket rotisserie chicken. Now, I love supermarket rotisserie chickens, but I love them because they're pretty cheap and they're simple. When I get room service or go to a restaurant, I just expect more flavor than a supermarket rotisserie chicken. This is giving Publix, it's giving Costco. I think that the skin could be a lot crispier. I think it really doesn't have too much flavor. It just tastes kind of like a simple roasted chicken. And this is supposed to be moho. Now, if you haven't had moho, moho is a marinade that has oranges, citruses, and a lot of garlic. And this doesn't serve any of that. It just serves normal chicken. So it's definitely not gross. Like I can eat it, I can enjoy it, but I just don't think it's room service level and I don't think it has enough flavor. And compared to everything else I've tried, it's not up to par. Hello? Hello? Who was that? Let's try a plan de maduro. I know how these are supposed to taste because I've been to a billion Cuban restaurants. Ooh, because I'm half Cuban. You know, I haven't had these in a long time. I like them more than I remember. These are kind of delicious. I think that they're a little less mushy than some other ones that I've had. They have a bit more bite to them. They're a little less sweet as well. Like they are sweet, but there's a nice salty contrast in there too. I kind of enjoyed this. Very caramelized, very nice. I think I'm evolving and my taste buds are finding who they are. Let's try the pink beans with the rice. Oh. There's no flavor. <laughs> it really doesn't have any flavor going for it. It tastes like water. And I always compare things that have no flavor to water because water has no flavor. So I think it's a fair comparison. If you like gulping a big cup of water, then you might enjoy this. But if you prefer your food to, you know, make your taste buds feel something, then you'll hate this. 
at least in my opinion. And the beans are also so extremely plain. They taste, to be honest, like they were soaked overnight and then they were just boiled. Like maybe someone added some salt, but I can't taste anything else. Oh, uh, and that's an insult to beans. That's an insult to me as a half Cuban. Also, I do feel like both the beans and the rice are slightly undercooked. Like the beans have a little too much of a bite to them and the rice tastes a little bit grainy. And I know rice is a grain, but you know what I mean, grainy. Who would have thought that my favorite part of this meal would be the flan de. Overall though guys, this, this meal is a disappointment. I'm definitely gonna have more of the chicken and the plantains, but I'm gonna pause here so we can try the dessert. We have this little container of ice cream to go with the blueberry cobbler. Wow, it stayed very frozen, look at that. Okay. Look at this little personal sized cobbler. That is just adorable. It has its own crust. You can see the whole blueberries right there. Looks so good. Let's try the ice cream. Ooh. Hello, iciness. It's giving Iceland. It's giving icicle. That is so disappointing. This ice cream seems to me that it melted and then was refrozen. That is the vibe. It has, that is the texture it has. Now, it might not have been. Maybe it's just really bad icy ice cream. Maybe they're going for that texture to be different, to be not like the other girls. But this is horrible. <laughs> Do you see the iciness? Even Elsa's burps aren't this icy. Let's try this. Oh, blueberry cobbler. It's very soft. <gasps> it's just falling apart. Oh, girlies, this blueberry cobbler is absolutely ridiculous. The blueberry filling might be the best blueberry pie, whatever filling that I've ever had. The blueberry flavor is so rich and it's not too sweet. There's a little bit of tartness, but the juices are just so saucy and thick and it really just melts in your mouth. And speaking of melts in your mouth, the crust is so soft. It doesn't even taste like a crust. It tastes more like a warm cookie from the oven. You know how like a warm cookie before it gets hardened, it's like gooey. That is this crust, which is incredible to me. It has a brown sugary, rich flavor to it. And it's truly fabulous. Now, thanks to the ice cream, I'm gonna have to score the dessert a little lower, but just know if I was just scoring the blueberry cobbler, it would be a 10 out of 10. Overall though, the dessert has to be a seven out of 10 because of her. I think the best parts of, of this meal were the rolls and the butter, incredible, and the cobbler. Overall, it was not as perfect as lunch, but I am still grateful and I'm gonna eat some more chicken right now. Now that I'm more stuffed than a butterball turkey, it is time to take a shower. By the way, side note, this is one of the best ACs I've ever experienced in a hotel. It's at 72 because 68, which is my typical like at home because I like to keep it cold, was too cold because this AC is so powerful. So it's at 72 and it's so nice and chill in here. Universal said those tourists need to keep cool. They're not from here. They can't handle it. Anyways, let's turn on the shower. Let's move this Tootsie Roll. Oh, oh okay, delay. Oh, very nice and hot, very fast. Ooh. Hello? Turn on. It's not doing anything. Oh, there. No? Yay, thank you. What was that? Okay. Do you see that? It's like coming out like ba 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 Oh, it's stuttering just like me. I love that. The room is customized so that I can relate to it. So the shower was okay. That vibration did bother me just a little bit because it lasted the whole time. And like you could hear going ba 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 And I could just feel it kind of like... The heat was great though. And the shampoos all stuff just smelled like clean. <laughs> it is time to get under the covers. As you can see, I've been laying and I made a nice dent in the mattress, but I always like to check for bugs. You never know. Even at these nice establishments, there could be a caca roach. There could be a caca. <laughs> there could be a lot of things under there. You just never know. Is it clean? Looks good. Okay. Oh, the blankets are good. It's so cold and crisp. I love a crispy blanket. Ooh, I feel like I'm on an island. Looking at the ocean while a crab walks by and says, hey girl, and I say, hey. 
And he says, thank you for not liking seafood because a lot of people eat all my friends up and you don't. So I just want to commend you for that. You're a very respectable person. And I say, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm actually here. I thought that I was on an island. I will see you guys in the morning. We're going to order breakfast and I'll let you know how the bed is. Good morning, girlies. I slept so good. The AC was perfect. The pillows were perfect, honestly. The blanket was perfect. The mattress was perfect. It was perfect. And I want to sleep more, but I want to order room service too. So I'm debating, should I feast <laughs> or keep sleeping a little longer? Food always comes first. Let's check out the menu. Okay, so we got some continental breakfasts. So we're going to skip that sorry waffle pancakes okay typical Ooh, local flavors caribbean french toast i'm definitely trying that and as for my meal we could do a simple american breakfast three egg omelet eggs benedict or steak and eggs Ooh, i think we're gonna do a three egg omelet and i'm gonna get hmm ham onions and american cheese Breakfast has arrived. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, this is the toast that came with my omelet. Sugar Man of Vermont. This is Salt Man's brother. Maple syrup. And then we got different jams. We got strawberry, blue, blueberry? No, grapes. <laughs> and bitter orange. Okay, someone needs to pick me up. And I think that's a slab of butter. I am so hungry. I can smell the toast. Let's first try that. I love that it's wrapped up like a Christmas gift. Okay, typical looking toast. I want to first try it with the butter. Mmm. The bread's basic. It's fine. It's toast. Nothing special. But the butter, once again, is that girl. Now with some strawberry jams. <gasps> Smells very fresh. This is by Darbo. Darbo. Why does that sound like a Star Wars character? I'm Darbo Diju. Be ba boo boo. <laughs> I'm half asleep, okay? Ooh, very nice texture. Ooh. Mmm. Fresh, bright, strawberry flavor. Gorgeous texture. Love that. Now, grape. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's some of the best grape jelly I've had. It almost has, um, like, a wine flavor to it. It's very, like... Ooh, I love that. Now, the... Bitter orange. I'm just so sick of my citruses holding on to unnecessary hatred and anger. No. <laughs> it tastes like potpourri. It tastes like it was only made from the peels of the orange and not the actual fruit. You know, I don't mind a little bit of an orange peel flavor, but this is just like pure orange peel. No, thank you. My toast era is done. Ooh! the toast that is the caribbean french toast but i'm gonna save it for afterwards guys look at this so this must be the actual omelet with the potatoes Ooh! here it is we have a lot of sweat <laughs> on the plate not sweat from a person but like sweat from the little baby chickens they said oh it's hot in here it smells good but i don't know why it doesn't look that appetizing i have seen much prettier omelets but never judge a chicken by its shell never judge a book by its cover right and the potatoes look very interesting they don't have that typical breakfast potato seasoned look but they do look very nice and dark so that's interesting i want to see how they taste let's first try a tater Ooh, very tender oh oh Different. Unique. I'm not sure if these are from Idaho. Maybe they were grown in Ohio. And they don't really know how to grow potatoes there, girl. <laughs> Just ask an Ohioan. You know, they are they're not disgusting. They they taste like a gold potato. They have that creamy texture, which I do like, but I don't think that texture works as a breakfast potato. It's just a bit too dense for me and a bit too heavy for breakfast. Also, they're not crispy on the outside whatsoever. Now, I don't think they're supposed to be, but they also just don't taste that seasoned. There's a little bit of salt in there maybe, and they're actually quite sweet, but there, there's no breakfast potato flavors happening. You know, it just tastes more like a potato that was cooked with a pot roast. That is what it tastes like, but sweeter. Now I do want to try them with some ketchup. Get out of here. 
It doesn't really work. The sweetness of the ketchup is kind of clashing with them. You know how like really salty fries taste amazing with ketchup? This is just sweet on sweet. They're not horrible, but I'm disappointed. Let's try. The omelette. That's how it looks. So it seems like the ham and the onions have been scrambled into the egg and then the cheese is in the center. Um, it's good enough to eat, but I'm not truly enjoying it. I think I've had much better omelets at other hotels. The egg is a bit rubbery. Feels a little overcooked to me, to be honest. The ham that they used here is too chewy. It's almost like ham jerky. They dried out the peg. And that texture doesn't go well with an omelet because eggs, you know, are supposed to be fluffy. Um, the onion tastes good though, and the American cheese tastes good, but the egg and the ham are just underwhelming. I'm hoping the French toast slays me. Okay, come on, French toast. Redeem the meal. The meal. Oh. This is how it looks. You can see gorgeous pineapple on top of the little toasts and the coconut flakes and powdered sugar. What do we think? They kind of look like fingers, right? Like, hey girl. I'm gonna add a little bit of syrup. You guys know I don't like a lot of syrup on my pancakes, waffles, all that. Ooh, okay. Ooh j'adore Dior, okay. I'm grateful. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's give it another bite. The French toast itself tastes like someone's mother who didn't really know how to cook but knew how to make French toast vaguely made this with an old loaf of Wonder Bread. It, <laughs> it looks gourmet but it doesn't taste gourmet. I just feel like with this different bread and just like the presentation it should taste so different than it does but it just really tastes so basic. It's the most basic loaf on the globe. On the Universal logo, there's that um, greasy egg flavor baked into the toast. Now, it isn't gooey and mushy, but it's just not flavorful. And then the pineapples are way too crunchy. I feel like the texture of the pineapple does not go with the toast whatsoever. And it's clashing. It almost makes me shiver when I bite into both of them at the same time. Like a chalkboard, right? It's like, ah! So yeah. As always, you guys know that I'm super grateful that I'm even able to order room service at these nicer places. Thanks to you guys watching, but it is my job to be honest and to critique food. And breakfast was a flop. Now that I've tried everything, future editing Timmy is gonna calculate all the different food scores. He's gonna average them out so that we can get one big final food score. So here it is. What do we think? Is it fair? Let's do final thoughts. So overall, the food I would say was 50-50. Some of it was truly incredible. Some of it was extremely bland. The service though was incredible. Everyone at the front desk was so nice. All the room service people were so nice and the room service was just always presented like a true like five-star moment. They have the tiny ketchups, the tiny Tabasco sauces, the tiny mayonnaises, all the tiny little things you could ever need. They've got it and the amenities seemed to be great even though I couldn't really test anything out. I did see all of them and they all looked fantastic. All the restaurants looked amazing. The room itself was a little small but still great. And overall, I am pleased with my stay here. I would recommend it to people if they're doing a big universal trip because of the free transportation, it makes it worth it to stay here. Anyways, ugh, so tough. Ugh. I'm gonna clean up the table and then check out. But I had so much fun with you guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>